about one in nine women and one in six children in Kentucky will experience sexual assault in their lifetime. Way too many. Those numbers are simply unacceptable. If we're truly to become a state that we want to be, we've got to eradicate violence against women in every corner and every county of this state. As the state flagship and land-grant university, we feel it is an inherent responsibility to help solve this problem. Preventing violence against women, well, that's pretty hard to do, I grant you. But there need not be a separation between lofty ideals and realistic actions. The way you truly solve problems, you've got to work with people who have that local knowledge and that local passion. And then we bring to that equation the research capabilities of a wide variety of uh, our colleges that are involved. We have indeed received a, ten, a $2 million five-year grant from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The competition for this grant, I have to say, was quite fierce. There were only two grants funded this year for this program, and we're one of those, obviously. Um, the goal of the grant is to find out whether an innovative program called Green Dot can prevent dating and sexual violence among high school students across Kentucky. It's an idea and a concept that's been around this campus for about five years, six years, something of that level, and it's a model that's pioneered. Green Dot is based on the fact that violence occurs when two things happen. One, someone acts inappropriately and aggressively toward another person, and importantly, others do nothing when the violence occurs. This program is unique because it engages everyone, men and women, in violence prevention by teaching students how to safely and actively bystand to address the risk of violence. We think of bystanders as passive observers. Well, Green Dot teaches students that they can actively engage with their friends and, and their classmates to prevent violence. I'm a senior in high school, and everyone knows that high schoolers, that's the time when we're doing crazy stuff, we're going to parties. Um, and when I've heard my mom train, I've always thought all my peers should be hearing all this too. <clears throat> because even though we may keep doing all this high-risk stuff, there are these easy steps we can take to keep each other safe. Now, we already know that Green Dot training increases bystanding behaviors, but what we don't know is whether Green Dot goes one step further to actually prevent dating violence. In this grant, we plan to find out whether Green Dot works to prevent vi violence even before it occurs. This is why this $2 million grant is so important for UK and for high school students in Kentucky. What we need to do is to focus on prevention. And that's the beauty of this program, man. That this program is focused not on treating the problem, but preventing the problem. Like I said, I'm a senior in high school, and by the time I graduate, too many of my friends have already been raped. If college is the first time we hear things about like Green Dot, it's already too late for way too many people. I have seen those issues hold this state back for years. It hurts our self-esteem, and it takes students in an early stage in some violent situation to change their whole life. And what better thing to do than do research on things like that and solve those? We now have a renewed sense that Kentuckians can live in communities free of violence and build relationships that are founded on equity and respect. In the not too distant future, we will live in a world without victims, in need of shelters, protective orders, and sorry Eileen, but without rape crisis centers. We won't need them anymore. Let's whip this one. Let's get this out of those double digits. This is a category we do not want to lead in. This is a category we want to show leadership in and then solve it. Thank you so much. Thank you.